Hi, I'm Eva Murphy from Electronic Engineering at IT Sligo, and this is my Leave Insert Maths Grinds channel. I'll regularly add new videos for both higher and ordinary level maths, so make sure you subscribe below and click the bell icon to be notified of new videos. Okay, prove by induction that 10 to the power of n minus 7 to the power of n is divisible by 3 for all n is an element of n. Okay, so this divisibility one. So our expression p of n is 10 to the power of n minus 7 to the power of n. Okay, so we want to show true for n is equal to 1. So then my p of 1 would become 10 to the power of 1 minus 7 to the power of 1, which is 3. And that is divisible by 3. OK, so we've shown true for n is equal to 1. We're going to assume true for n is equal to k. So my expression would become 10 to the power of k minus 7 to the power of k. OK, nothing really I can do with that to simplify it. So let's go ahead and prove true for the case where n is equal to k plus 1. So my expression for k plus 1 would become 10 to the power of k plus 1 minus 7 to the power of k plus 1. OK, and I'm going to, again, break up the indices using, just get rid of this stuff, using this rule here. OK, when the two indices are added, I can break them out into the same number, one for each of the powers. OK, so in other words, he would be 10 to the power of k by 10 to the power of 1, and he would be 7 to the power of k by 7 to the power of 1. OK, so I'm looking at that now and normally in, at this stage I would be looking to sub in P of K um, into this expression. It's not the easiest to do it because of the minus in between and the fact that I have coefficients in front of them. OK, so there's another way we can get at P of K plus one. And that's to take the expression for P of K plus one and subtract off that um, p of k, OK? And just to explain that, I'm going to go back to one of our um, sequence and series ones. Um, so that would be my expression for p of k, for example, and there's my p of k plus 1. So if I subtract my p of k from p of k plus 1, can you see that I'm just left with p of k plus 1? OK, so if I subtract these two expressions from each other, I'm going to be left with just the term that's at P of K plus one. And I wonder, is that divisible by three? OK, so let's do that and see where it brings us. If P of K plus one is 10 to the power of K by 10 minus 7 to the power of K by 7. And I want to subtract off that. 10 to the power of k minus 7 to the power of k. OK, so let's come up here and finish it. So I will have 10 to the power of k by 10 um, minus 7 to the power of k by 7 minus 10 to the power of k. And then down here, I have minus minus. So I have plus 7 to the power of k. OK, let's factor out 10 to the power of k. Let's group some of these together. So that is 10 to the power of k times 10 minus 1. And then I'm going to factor out 7 to the power of k from these two terms. seven minus one. 
and it has to be minus here because I took the minus outside. So minus by minus would give me that plus. Okay, so 10 minus one is nine. So that's nine by 10 to the power of K. Minus seven by one is six by seven to the power of K. Okay, and I'm trying to show this is divisible by three. So it makes sense then to factor out a three. So if I can factor out a three all the way across and the whole expression is divisible by three. So I will get three by 10 to the power of K there and I'll get two by seven to the power of K there. Okay, so I can conclude that P to the power of K plus one minus P of K is divisible by three. Therefore, P of K plus one is also divisible by three, assuming P of K was divisible by three. Okay, um, we also show true for n is equal to one, therefore, P of n holds true for all n is an element of n. If you've enjoyed this video, then why not join us in IT Sligo and use maths in practice? In conjunction with industry, we've designed an exciting new program in electronics and self-driving technologies, which uses cutting-edge techniques such as artificial intelligence, computer vision and virtual and augmented reality. You'll need a H5 in maths to qualify. Check out the link below.